Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to share my December wax empties um, and one lone uh, like indie bath empty. Um, so December, I'm going to preface this, if you don't watch my videos, I was gone for eight days <laughs> um, in December um, where I wasn't really melting. There was a couple days in there where I was in a hotel by myself that I melted, um, but it was like when I was traveling, so I literally, I think I got like two melts in, like, and most rational people had only done one, <laughs> but I was putting in one. And then before I go to bed, I put in another, and I was stopping like 7, 8 o'clock, so there really was no reason, but I was trying to do some of the advent calendars, um, like reviews and stuff, so, yeah. Anyways, so, um, I didn't get through as much as I normally would, um, and probably if you've never seen like an empties video from me before, you probably think I'm being silly, because there, there is still quite a bit. Um, this is like the advent calendar stuff. Plus, when I'm looking at these bins originally, you know, I'm thinking that I wasn't looking at the advent calendar empties, and I really did get through most of the advent calendar. Um, and then there's this other bucket with um, just like the bags that are advent calendar, and um, it's not even half full, which isn't bad, but normally that's like bins overflowing. And then over here I have another bin that's scent shots and some... Uh, clamshells. Normally those are separate and I have like a month where I have like two of just scent shots. So definitely a lot less for me. Um, there is also a retail wax one, um, which I have been doing separate. So a lot less for me, but I was gone for like eight days and you know, also my, my husband's a teacher. He teaches, um, college. Oh, hang on guys. Okay, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> my husband was at work and he called me. He doesn't call me very often, so I always like to answer it if I can, if I notice. Um, anyways, I think I was saying, actually, I think I was actually talking about my husband. I just mentioned, like, he is a college professor and he does not um, work. You know, he obviously gets holidays, like, um, you know, he gets off, like, pretty much all of December and then, like, the summer. Um... So, I end up probably not melting as much when he's here. Because, <laughs> um, I, you know, I don't know. I think I just get, like, self-conscious, like, changing. Oh, well, you know, I'll change it, like, twice or three times maybe in the living room. But, um, you know, when he's, like, he's he, like, lives in the living room, you know. So, <laughs> um, I definitely think when I'm by myself, I tend to change the wax more often, like, in the living room and stuff. So, I do, you know, when he's home, like all of December, I do definitely think I get through a lot less, but that's just another opinion too, so, um, anyways, so the only indie, like, bath stuff I got through month of December was this Vapid Whipped Sugar Scrub, um, Boardwalk, it's just like, you know, like a carnival kind of scent, um, I really like her Whipped Sugar Scrub, I do know since I've ordered these ones that she has changed the formula, the Vapid is primarily a nail polish vendor, um, but she also does wax, and she's actually the one who got me into vendor wax. I, I don't really, I haven't bought from her in a while. I think it's since, like, February or March, um, at least for wax and bath stuff. I think I may have bought, like, one of her collections after that. Like, she did, like, a uh, Alice one. I think I bought that one. But, anyways, I really like her whipped sugar scrub, but I know she reformulated it, so I'm not sure if I like it as much. Um, and... After that, I was working on, like, a Zape one that I just bought and I hauled, um, before Christmas, and, from Black Friday, I believe, and I bought her sugar scrub, it was her whipped sugar scrub, and I thought that's what I had always bought, um, from her and really liked, but it turns out I hadn't. I'd never bought her whipped sugar scrub before, and, um, I buy the whipped sugar scrub with the intent to pretty much scrub the crap out of my feet, right? <laughs> That's primarily what I use it for, like my elbows. I don't like scrub my whole body or anything with it because that would be a lot of scrub. So <laughs> that would be very expensive. Um, but anyways, so I I got it, and it's pretty much like her whipped soap. It's like whipped soap with like a little bit of sugar scrub in it. Um, where I thought, I thought it's what I bought before, which is pretty much just like a straight up sugar scrub. Like most people's whipped sugar scrubs are mostly sugar scrub with like a little bit of whipped. Um, and her whipped sugar scrub is like, 
if I had to give percentages, like 90% like whipped scrub, like whipped soap, and then like a little bit of sugar scrub. So, um, it's definitely, I tried kind of scrubbing my feet with it a couple times and I was like, it's just not, not doing what I want it to do. Um, so I stopped using that, but, um, I didn't really have any other like winter ones. I'd only bought like two of the whipped sugar scrub from her thinking they were more sugar scrub or for like that month. And I pulled out, I think I pulled out another like, like a summer, um, sugar scrub from someone else. So I didn't end up like taking it with me on my trip where I originally thought like I'd take like a Christmassy one when I went on my trip. Um, so I didn't take any of that stuff. So I didn't really go through a whole lot. <coughs> Sorry. But I did actually buy some more of her actual whip or sugar scrub. Sorry, I keep like saying the wrong word. So I bought some more of the actual scrub stuff. So what I've been doing with the ones that I have, especially the one I've opened, um, is I've just been putting it on like a poof or like a loaf loofah as like soap. And then you know, the little bit of scrubby that's in it, it's just like an added bonus, right? So instead of like trying to use it like a scrub, because it's just not, at least not for a foot scrub. I think for a foot scrub and like an elbow scrub, you need something really, really scrubby. And it's just not meant for that. So, um, anyways, I will probably not buy it again unless I'm looking for something that's like an all over scrub. It's more like a soap. Um, but yeah, I just, I was mistaken about that. <laughs> that's what I bought before. So I was a little surprised. The first time I used it, I was like, what is going on? So I didn't really have like one. So I didn't get, this isn't even like a full one. And this is only like half full. And I only pulled this out because I was like, what am I going to do next? So <laughs> I finished this one. Um, and then I started like a really summery, like fruity scent from Bathing Garden. Cause I just didn't really have, I don't have like a ton of sugar scrubs just sitting around. Um, unlike wax. So anyways, but I did get some more Zape ones. I ordered some of just her scrub. So I'm going to start going through, uh, maybe let's go through the advent calendar. So this is the advent calendar. If you watch my two advent calendar hauls, this is going to be really boring. And I apologize about that. So I'm not going to do like any descriptions for these or what I thought of them. Because if you really want to know warm reviews for these, check out the two separate hauls. Um, this one's L3 Tinsel Sugar Cookie Noel. Um, why don't I try and do just the L3 ones? It's going to be hard. Okay, this one is pretzel eggnog brown sugar. These are all from the L3 Evan calendar. Pumpkin pecan waffles, crispy sugar cookie. Birthday cake, vanilla bean Noel, blackberry bling. Blackberry jam, butter cookie, zucchini bread, buttercream. 7-Up pound cake, lemon curd, fruit loops. Blueberry Cranberry Cobbler, Pear Fresh Baked Bread, Gooey Caramel, Sugar Cookie Dough, Strawberry Vanilla Bean Noel, Apple Cider Butterscotch Twinkies Cake, uh, let's just do some Super Tarts. So these ones are Super Tarts Advent Calendar, Maple Sugar Cornbread Christmas Cookies, Toasted Peppermint Drift Me Driftwood Vanilla Bean Noel. This one was really good. They had it in clams. I got some. I think I actually, I think it's the Bishop's Wife. And I also got it in one of the new Sidekicks loaves that are a pre-order. Uh, Christmas Tree Winter Candy Apple Basil. That one got made into permanent, too. Uh, Nightmare for Christmas Room Spray. This is cheating. I didn't actually finish this. <laughs> but there's the bag. So there's the spray. I literally only used a little bit of it when I tested it. I'm going to put that up in my bedroom. Or maybe like my pillow or something. Wildberry Stress Relief Candy Canes. Marshmallow Macchiato Chocolate Chip Cookies. It was good for a chocolate one. They did make that in the clams as well. Fig Cider Persimmon Patchouli. I probably butchered that. Spice Cookies Toffee Apple. Tinsel Satsuma Cotton Candy. Menthol Sweater Weather Jaws. Pumpkin Baguette Coffee Cream. I freaking loved this one. I don't think I got into clamshells though, unfortunately. If it did and I don't know, let me know. <laughs> Pink Chiffon Blackberry Balsam. Mistletoe Buttermint Champagne. Ginger Snap Sugar Cookies Cotton Candy. Uh, Ocean Breeze Cranberry Sorbet. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Coconut Cola Marzipan Shortbread Cookies. 
pecan funnel cake, vanilla bean Noel, French toast. Okay, and then we got some L3. Cider Lane leaves. Pistachio toasted mallow vanilla wafer. I like that one for, for pistachio. I'm sorry, I hate pistachio. Fir trees mallow fireside sugar cookie. <clears throat> Lavender birthday cake, whipped cream, vanilla wafer. Pink lemonade, mango blonde moment. Rosemary mint, blueberry aftershave. Candy cane, cuppy cakes, cotton candy, frosted cuppy cakes. I bought this one in a bam bag, or bam bag. <laughs> in a doggy bag, wrong brand. Cranberry sweater, weather satsuma. Lucky charms, pink sugar. I apologize if these are like really not focused at all. But if you guys want to see more of them, you should definitely check out the individual like videos about them. Coconut Coast Pie Crust Strawberry. It'll probably actually go up after this video because I have to edit the crap out of it to get it together. Lemon Eclair Cream Cheese Frosting Raspberry Zingers. Uh, Wildberry Mousse Berry Licious Pretzel. Peppermint Mallow Spearmint Cuppy Cakes. And then these are like the ones that I did partially or not at all. I tried to change my setup a little bit so that I wouldn't do that and it's not working. But with like the empties, I'm definitely grabbing around a lot. So these I'm just going to show you guys just to see if you're interested in what I didn't melt or whatever. So this is, I did half of this. The Graham Sugar Milk Nog, that's um, super tarts. The rest of these are super tarts. So Hot Toddy, Orange Cider, Cinnamon Rolls. I did half of these. So um, with these ones where they're partials, I am either going to give them away because I dislike them <laughs> or I'm going to finish melting them. And I'm going to try and do that for January. Um, this one's Chai Butter Brickle Cake. So for all these ones I did like, I just didn't melt the full thing for some reason. Blueberry Amber Leaves. I wasn't, ugh, I don't know if I'm going to melt the rest of that. I'm not a huge blueberry fan. Um, pumpkin Tea Vanilla Bean Cakes. I did not like that one. I do not like tea and cake, so I will not be finishing that one. Um, and this one's Northern Lights Pink Sands. This one was fine. Um, I'm not sh I'll probably melt it because whatever, but um, it was it was kind of perfumey. Not really Christmassy. So this is the only L3 one that I did not melt. And hers were like smaller pieces, um, so I always melted the whole thing. Um, this one's Blue Sugar Tea and Cakes. I do not like tea and cakes at all. And blue sugar I'm iffy on, so um, I, I made the mistake of melting a tea and cakes one for super tarts, and I hated it. <laughs> so I was like, I'm just not even going to do that. Um, L3 one. All the rest of the L3 ones I melted. So that is the actual empties for the... Sorry, I put some like lotion on beforehand. It's like from an L3 sampler, and it's really like shiny, greasy. I got like really bad dried skin in the winter. Um, so those are the partials. They don't really 100% count, but I wanted to show them to you guys anyways to kind of show you what I did or didn't melt. So I did pretty good on the admin, so um, I'm just going to start going through the other stuff. So this one was a Rose Girl Spearmint Smoothie. I thought the throw on this was like a 9. The scent, I said it was like a 7. Um, spearmint is definitely not my favorite. Like, I definitely prefer peppermint, but I do like it. If she offered this again, I would definitely buy some. Um, this one is Christmas Wish Peeps Cake. Um, I did really like this one. I went through a whole <laughs> mini melters of it, which is the first time I did that. And I actually, I didn't, I didn't actually combine it all with anything and I was kind of going back and forth if I should like go back and buy a couple more bags before it went away um and I finally talked myself out of it because there was just something a little bit that I didn't like 100% love love that I felt like I needed more I think it was probably just like the cake the peeps cake part um or something I, I don't know I I did real I did enjoy it but I wasn't sure that it was like hoard worthy so if she gives this next year I would buy some more but I didn't think I decided it wasn't worth me, like, keeping it around all, for, like, a year. So, this one was L3 Fir Trees Pie Crust Vanilla Bean Noel. This was two of her, like, big bunts. I rebag her stuff because pretty much most of her stuff is, like, those sticky bags, which I dislike. Um, and this one I've had since March, um, end of March. But I don't know when it was... Um, actually poured because you know, she doesn't do pour dates so considering the like scent type it was it probably was older from like Christmas um 
The throw on this one was not great. I, it was like a five or a six, and for how long it was cured, it really should have been like phenomenal for L3. I don't know if it's because it was a little older, um, or it's just not a super strong scent, or I was just having like an off nose week. Um, I thought the scent was like a six. I do like fir trees and all that stuff, but it wasn't like my favorite scent. I probably wouldn't go out of my way for that one again. Um, this is a lovely natural sample. She had like a sale thing where you could get like 10 for like $10 ship or something. So this one was lavender, coconut milk, cream pie, and marshmallow. I did this one at bedtime. This one was, it was actually a pretty big size, probably like at least half an ounce, if not an ounce. Um, they were a little bigger than like just small samples, but um, this did really well in my bedroom. And sometimes stuff has a hard time in my bedroom because my husband runs a fan. Um, Destination Wax, Lavender, Tassie. To sigh, I don't know how I say that. Tassie, that's how I would say it. I don't think this one is like anything phenomenal, but um, these are a little bit on the older side, and I got like a lavender like trip thing when I first bought from her back in like February. Um, sugar floor, eucalyptus, and spearmint. I think this one was like too like medicinal uh, smelling. It's been a couple weeks, but I think it was. Um, this is Barrett's Sparkling Peach Champagne. This was part of stuff that I did for New Year's. Oh, this was a good scent. Um, it's not something I'd probably buy in bulk, but I would definitely buy it again for, like, holidays or things where I really wanted, like, a champagne scent. I do think I have a clamshell of it somewhere, too. Um, so this one is Villainous Wax, The King, which is balsam for rich... Frosted pear and candied almonds. I thought the throw was like a six or a seven. Um, I usually get a little stronger with her stuff, so I felt like this one was a little on the average, like or like on the lighter side for her. Um, and I thought the scent was like a seven. It was definitely very strong on like the balsam. Um, yeah. This one was L3 Frost, Frosty Fizzy Bubbly Cotton Candy Cane. Um, and I thought it was just, I mostly just got, like, fizzy a scent. I thought it was an 8. I mean, I like fizzy scents, so I'm not going to complain. I definitely didn't get any, like, candy cane, though. If I got anything, it was, like, you know, like a cotton candy scent and then, like, a fizzy. I really didn't get, like, anything minty out of it. Um, so I thought the scent was an 8, and I thought the throw was, like, an 8 or a 9. I put this in my bathroom. It was really strong. And I think it lasted for, like, a really long time, too. Um, here's one of these lovely natural. This one I did for... New Year's Eve, New Year's, I did like all like champagne and wine scents. I pulled out like samples and whatever I had. It's like those two scents are not something I really go out of my way to buy for. So a lot of it was like samples or stuff like that. Um, berry mimosa, strawberry jam, cupcake, fresh strawberry. So I pulled that one because it was mimosa. But um, this one being good, I had it in my bathroom. Um, this one is She Loves Cake, Cookie Party Under the Xmas Tree. I don't really remember this one. I, I'm kind of having spotty throw with the She Loves Cake. Some of them are good, some of them not as much. Um, this one is a BZ Tarts. This was a sample. I've only ordered from him once. It was when he did Ready to Ship. His, his um, turnaround time, at least it was back in like February, March, April, was like six, seven, eight weeks, I don't know, something like that, <laughs> a long time, um, so I only ordered from the ready to ship, he did have another ready to ship recently, but, um, yeah, I, I, I definitely would order from him again, his stuff, everything I've melted has been really strong, um, but his stuff's, like, really basic stuff, not, like, like, I don't mean that in a bad way, but it's mostly, like, straight scent oils that you can get from, like, pretty much anyone, so I don't necessarily think for me it's worth, like, the weight personally but that's just my opinion um but anyways this is a sample it was like a donut and it was really strong and it lasted a really long time kind of like a perfumey like woodsy scent um super tarts tate um i know this is one that people go crazy for i'm still on the fence about tate um i think sweater weather's not my favorite scent in the whole wide world um but it's sweater weather cotton candy and blackberry and i find blackberries kind of perfumey as well which i know <laughs> i know the super tart blackberry fans are going to come after me because they all say that her her blackberry is not perfumey but i don't know i think it is <laughs> maybe not as much as some people's but that's just my opinion um, 
but I am really liking violet and I so I bought some violet to try I think that's part of the uh, I have a Tate and violet band bag but I think violet I'm gonna like a lot better so we'll see um, she loves cake Christmas peppermint bark this was like a chocolate one I didn't think it was bad for chocolate but I'm just not a huge chocolate fan and these are all samples those two I just showed from her um, Rainbow Melts, Holiday Morning, Gingerbread, Cronut, Butter Brickle, and Caramel Coffee. Um, this one was like a really, really nice, like really sweet caramel coffee scent. Um, and this was a sample that I got with her Halloween pre-order. Um, this was really good. I need to save the bag to this so I remember <laughs> to reorder this one. But I thought the scent was like a 9 out of 10. Like I really enjoyed the scent type. Um, and the throw was super strong too. 9 out of 10. Um, I'm not usually like a coffee scent lover. I don't hate it, but I don't usually grab it. I don't order it. You know, pretty much what I own is like, because I've gotten it from some places or samples. But this was really, really good. And I'm definitely, if she stocks this next year, I will definitely buy that. I can pull out that actually, so I remember. Um, this was a sample I got from someone. I've never ordered from Candles from the Keeping Room directly. I always miss her restocks, and her restocks are always on a Saturday, once a month. <laughs> and, like, if you are not there within the first, like, two or three minutes or five minutes to get, like, in line on the website, you're not going to get an order in. Um, so <laughs> there's a lot of vendors where, like, I don't, realize they're stocking until I start seeing people like post in hauls or like screenshots right that start like showing the group um and with candles from the keeping room by the time someone has posted like a haul it's like you know like their recap of what they bought it's too late so one of these days I am going to get in on it <laughs> but I have yet to do that so this was given to me like in a DCS or something but um I thought the throw was really good. It was like an 8 or a 9 out of 10. The scent was like a 7. I would have to look it up. It was like a mitten shape. Um, so I thought it was going to be like wintry or Christmassy. And it was like kind of fruity, like fizzy or something like that. It just wasn't what I was expecting. I didn't think it was a bad scent. Um, this is L3's sample of Scrooge, Hot Orange Danish, Bakery Bomb, Raspberry Cake. I put this in my bathroom. I truthfully don't really remember it. But it's probably not something I go out of my way for. I'm not really a huge orange fan or raspberry fan. It was really cute um, gingerbread shape. So this one was Barrett Wax Crafts Cranberry Season. I thought the scent was like a six. I'm not a huge cranberry person, and I think this is also like a spicy cranberry. The throw was like an eight out of ten. His stuff always has a good throw for me. Um, this was a Sweet Sage Scents sample, Pugtoberfest. This was one I put in for... Um, New Year's Eve, New Year's, sorry, I can't think. Um, Ozark, Muscadine Wine, Pomegranate Cider, Falling Leaves, Toasted Marshmallow. So it was kind of fall, some of that stuff, but I, I put it in there because of the wine. Um, it was two, like, cute little owls. But her stuff, everything I've had so far has thrown really, really good. And I keep meaning to get in on her restocks, and I keep forgetting. And her stuff kind of goes fast. Um, she definitely has a good fan base who definitely buys from her when she's like restocking um i think the well the only time i ordered from her was like a pre-order um you know when it's like if it's the same day you can still go on her website and there'll be stuff available but not might not necessarily be like the stuff you want you know um so i will order from her again i keep meaning to but i'm also kind of trying not to buy wax so <laughs> i try not to look at stuff and i kind of you know when i see people post and stuff i'm like kind of jealous but anyways this is rainbow melt holly jolly this was orange cranberry muffins and warm holiday cider this is something i got in like a a free d stash like a free for shipping because it was old like an ass wax um, 8 29 15 was the pour date. Um, these are some really cute uh, gingerbread as well. I truthfully don't remember this one. It might not have had the best throw, but it may have. Sometimes I throw stuff in the warmer and I go in another room and I, I'm i just kind of, um, you know, not really there to experience it. So this one's Wilma Shop, which is now the Smell Good Shop. This is a sample I got from an order. Toasty Mallow, Pink Sugar, Apple Butter caramel um I thought this scent was maybe like 
a seven or eight like appeal to me when I say a scent like I mean like did I like it like, like it was like a seven or eight out of ten um and the throw was an eight out of ten her stuff's always good and strong um it's it's a strange I think someone maybe made this a custom I mean to me it's kind of a strange combination I never think to put together but it did work so you know whatever floats your boat I guess and that's not my goal like in the customs and make from her but um so this one was a Hayden Row Vermont sample which was basically like a pine tree kind of scent probably not actually pine but it's like Christmas tree-ish you know what I mean <laughs> throw I thought it was like an eight or nine which is pretty standard for me for Hayden Row um to me like eight when I say eight it's like a high medium throw you know like on the on the high side of medium um and then maybe nine we're starting to get high and then 10 is like extremely high um and there's probably not a whole ton of stuff i give a 10 but there is some um and then i thought that the same type was like a seven it's something maybe i buy like a scent shot of you know but i wouldn't like go buy a loaf of it <laughs> um personally this one is wilma shop all hollows eve um, someone gave me just like one cube of this. Um, the throw was really good, eight and nine, like I always get with Wilma's. The scent type I thought was like a three. It wasn't, I wasn't crazy about it. I don't know what it was in it, if it was like patchouli or something weird, but I wasn't a big fan. I wouldn't buy that one, even though I like the name. <laughs> um, so this is a sample from Southbound Soap Company that someone sent me when I bought like a Southbound Soap Company, like de-stash from them. It was just like a plain tinsel scent. Throw was an 8, which is pretty standard for me for Southbound. Um, the scent was like an 8. You know, it's good. Tinsels, I like tinsel. Um, pretty standard, like, Christmas scent. Um, so this one is Sassy Girl Aroma Strawberry and Cream Peppermint. Um, this was from her, like, sampler box. It was, like, seriously one of the first vendor wax purchases I made back in, like, just, like some dog hair. From my dog, probably. <laughs> um, I made probably in like February, I would guess. So almost a year old now. But um, the throw on this was super good, like an eight out of ten. Scent was like a four. Um, I could kind of handle it, but my husband hated it. <laughs> he absolutely hated it. Um, I don't think I go out of my way for strawberry peppermint from any vendor. It's kind of strange, but. Um, Okay, so this was a sample or like, you know, like a freebie that, like, I did an exchange with some friends, um, and a friend sent this to me, and this is Heather Hughes, which is like a nail polish company, and she makes wax, and, um, this is banana bread. I, her stuff throws really well, but it is, I think it's, she does 100% soy, and it is seriously the softest wax I have ever encountered in my life. I don't know if she's using like scoopable wax and then it's just like putting it in molds and hoping for the best or what because it's like I had a shape before of hers that like someone sent me. I didn't, I've never bought from her. Never bought nail polish from her either but like it was in the bag and I could just like squish it with my finger. Like really extremely soft. Um, or if she's just like way overloading her wax with oil because she thinks that'll like make it stronger I don't know um I wasn't a huge fan of this banana bread scent but um it was kind of chocolatey it definitely had a good throw but yeah it, I kind of got chocolate from a banana bread scent which doesn't make any sense but it is what it is right <laughs> um L3 Waxy Wonders Don't Fear the Reaper this is from the er, Halloween pre-order um warm vanilla sugar fuzzy socks and hoodies so this was like you know kind of like a fresh and cozy kind of scent um but kind of warm with that warm vanilla sugar i thought this was nice but i thought this was just kind of wintry to me so um i'd probably buy a limited quantity of that again it's not something that i need like a whole bag of um, this one is Hall Pineapple Poured Up. This was a gator. First gator that I've ever sacrificed and actually melted and <laughs> cut. Um, I think I did that on my cutting video, but... <laughs> um, anyways, this one I did for New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. It was like a sparkling something. Or, it was fruity, but one of them was like a sparkling fruity. And I, that was really good throw. 
good scent. I would buy more of it. I do actually own more of it, so I don't need to buy any more, but right now at least. Um, this is another Barrett Sparkling Peach Champagne. I do this one for New Year's Eve as well. Um, I talked about that one earlier. Hayden Row Chilled Sangria. This is another one I did around New Year's Eve. Um, this one was good. I, You know, I could see me maybe melting this again. Like, maybe summer. Um, it's definitely like a fruity scent, but it did have a bit of wine, but not like a grape. I mean, it's hard to explain because I'm... Okay, sorry about that. Um, so, <laughs> I ran out of room on my camera. Um, I'm doing this a couple days later. I've just, I've just been really busy and doing other stuff. Um, but <laughs> we're like two weeks into January, um, I think. Maybe we're on third. Maybe the third. <laughs> Anyways, I'm, you know, we're like mid-January, and I, I haven't finished doing this stuff yet, and I really want to do this, and I can trash this stuff and be done with it, right? So, anyways, um, this one I do is a sample from L3 Champagne. This was one of my New Year's Eve, New Year's Day melts. Um, this was okay. I wouldn't probably end up buying just a plain champagne scent. I don't, you know, L3, um, they had a lot of scents for a while where they were doing just like single ones of the samples, so this isn't even really something you could buy from her. Unless you do like customs. Um, but yeah, it was okay. Um, and then this one is another L3. This was Long Tails and Ears for Hats. Fuzzy Navel, Pomegranate, Orange Juice Cake. Um, you know, I put this in the warmer and then I kind of just forgot about it. <laughs> I think it was in my bathroom. I didn't really go in there. So I really can't tell you how this one was. Um, I know it was definitely not like offensive enough that I thought about it to like toss it or anything. Um, and then this one is L3 Holiday Woods. Peppermints, Vanilla, and a Hint of Fir Trees. I believe this one was a sample either from one of my like Christmassy orders or it might have been a sample from the uh, advent calendar but I really 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 loved this one I thought um, the throw was like a 9 out of 10 and the scent appeal to me was like a 10 out of 10 um, but yeah I don't think I read this it's holiday woods which is peppermints vanilla and a hint of fir tree um, and this was just really really good I really love like fur like fir tree or Christmas tree kind of scents mixed with like peppermint or like with bakery. Um, this was really good. So I actually just ordered um, her customs in this. Uh, I got one band bag. You know, I was tempted to get like two or three, but um, you know, fact of the matter is, L3 does customs all the time. So you know, by the time I get this from her, she's usually pretty fast, but it still take a couple weeks. Um, you know, I'm going to be probably out of melting Christmas stuff, so what I'm probably better off doing, I will get that one I have now and melt it some. Um, but considering I like to cure her stuff a lot, what I'll probably do is maybe like in the summer, when she does doggy bags again, um, I'd probably get some more of this for Christmas time, or for like winter, and do that. Um, here's another L3 sample, this one was Fig Leaf. I thought the throw was like an 8 out of a... Eight, 8 or 9 out of a 10. I thought the scent appeal was like an 8. Um, yeah, it was a nice scent. Um, I feel like not a lot of people do fig scents, but I liked it on its own. Um, again, this is not one that Elfrey would just pour like a single one, though. But I would definitely be open to blends of it. Um, this one was She Loves Cake, Mellow Mint, Christmas Cookie, or Christmas Cupcakes. Um, all of these samples, I put them in my bathroom, these She Love Cakes ones, and I definitely was smelling them. A lot of them were chocolatey. It's the one biggest thing I, <laughs> I kind of have to say is I feel like most of the stuff I've gotten from her, like sample, has, has chocolate, and I think she just pours a lot of chocolate stuff, um, which I'm not a huge fan of, but that's just, you know, personal scent preferences. She Loves Cake, Cookie Party Under the Christmas Tree. Um, all of these I thought were decent for all, you know, did pretty good in my bathroom closed up. Um, but not anything like crazy. Um, I don't remember this one a whole ton either. Um, this one's Super Tarts, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Um, the throw was like a, a 8 or a 9 out of 10. Scent was like a 6. Um, you know, I got one of these, I think it was actually this one, and I smelled it and on cold I thought it was really, really gonna love it. Um, but on warm, I'm just not that crazy about it. Um, it's apple butter oatmeal cookies with icing and buttermilk pancakes. I think it's the oatmeal cookies I'm not really crazy about um, on warm. But after I got this, I bought like a, a clamshell. So I think I'm going to 
I'm probably going to struggle to finish the clamshell. I'm not going to lie. It's not bad, but um, it's not like... It's not something like I put in my warmer and like dump, but it's not something I feel like I need any more of, at least right now. Um, this one is Heather Hughes Berry Bellini. Um, this is another one that a friend sent me. This one was fine. I did this one New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. Um, I don't know that would be okay. It's not a vendor that I would buy from, but I appreciate people sending me stuff to try. Um, this was a sample from Dessa's Homespun Sense Cranberry Spice. This one is okay. I'm not a huge cranberry person, um, so it's not something that I would necessarily buy, but um, I do remember it being good and strong in my bathroom. Most of these little bags I end up doing in my bathroom. Uh, so this is Sniff My Tarts White Chocolate Red Macintosh Apple Type. This was a freebie that I was sent in an order from Sniff My Tarts. I've only ordered from her once. Um, back in like May when she did the Wonderland collection. Um, I just, for, I, you know, I hear good things about her wax um, in terms of like thrill, but I also hear a lot of people say it gets, definitely starts to lose its scent after one year. Um, and most of her, I mean, she does do some ready to ship stuff, but a lot of her stuff is like customs, I feel like, that are like six months customs or something crazy like that. She may have changed that, but um, she just had a custom opening and I just didn't look at it. It's too overwhelming, um, you know, scent choices, and there's other people I'd rather do customs with that would be faster. But, um, yeah, I mean, if she start doing ready to ship, I'd maybe start doing more, but um, <clears throat> I have so much wax that I really need to... You know, I, I don't think I'm going <laughs> to, you know, I would try to avoid people that I know are kind of notorious for not lasting super long. But anyways, if that's not the case for you guys, let me know if you have stuff that's like Sniff My Tarts and it's like way older than a year and still really good. Definitely let me know. But um, <clears throat> I do have this May stuff that's coming up. So anyways, um, I was not a huge fan of this, mostly just because I don't really like white chocolate scents. But that's just, I don't like white chocolate in general. Um, this one is Destination Wax Christmas Tree. This is a sample I received. I've only ordered from her once, actually. I um, mean, it was back in February, so it's almost been a year. And these are like these slip top bags, which are kind of notorious for not being great. Um, she just does the samples on that. Her actual stuff is in like real, like slip top bags. Um, I thought the throw was like an eight. Plus, I said that it lasted a really long time. Um, I don't remember exactly, but <laughs> it definitely probably lasted like more than four or five, six hours. I really wouldn't have noticed it because that'd be standard to me. Um, I thought the scent was like an eight. It was just a good Christmas tree scent. Um, it's something I would definitely think about buying from her again. I bought from her when she was on Etsy and then she switched to just Facebook. And I, I'm not a huge fan of ordering that way. It just seems like a lot of work. But she did just open a website. Um, and... I would definitely think about buying from her again. Um, I kind of looked on her website the other day, and I'm just, um, I'm trying not to buy a whole lot, but um, I think most of the stuff that really kind of tempted me looking at her stuff was sort of like the seasonal, like, fall and, like, wintry stuff, so it's not stuff that I need to buy right now. So, um, yeah, I mean, I definitely want to make another order. I just haven't yet. So we'll see once it, I don't know, maybe next year <laughs> or, you know, a couple months. Um, so this one is Barrett's Waxcraft Peppermint Vanilla Dream. This is a great one. Um, I don't remember this sample exactly, but um, it's a good scent. I bought it before. I would buy it again. Um, this is, like, good for, like, all of winter or this is something I can melt, like, all the time in my bedroom. So I probably, I probably melted that in my bathroom, but it's possible I did it in my bedroom. So, um... Yeah, that is all of my bags. Um, it is quite a bit, but it's definitely a lot less than I would normally do, normally get through. So I am going to end this here, and then I will do a second video for the scent shots and clam shells. I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.